Welcome friends. Today's topic is about uh, how to create stampings then to some extent uh, how do we do go about doing block printing and then uh, making a very nice beautiful motif like this. Okay, so let me begin. Uh, this topic is about uh, you know, uh, how block printing is done. So See, so for example, I have made uh, 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 like here. I'll be using match uh, sticks, okay, like this. See, like this one. Okay, so these are these uh, match sticks. Uh, few of them I have taken, and then I have taken a cardboard like this, okay, and after that, uh, like uh, you know, as as for my requirement, I have taken uh, scissors for uh, this all fixed blue, okay, and uh, this is uh, waterproof also. So after it dries, it gives a, a beautiful, um, you know, sticking the surface to the base as well as uh, even if you apply water, it does not. I mean, the stick will not come out from the surface. If you apply, say, a normal glue, then uh, probably the stick will come out like that so uh, see like uh, this is a cardboard piece uh, like this uh, and then uh, what we can do is uh, take this glue okay and then uh, see i wanted to make a shape like this okay like this okay so i took a stick like this and then i applied a little bit of uh, say just a little bit of glue like this in a line like this in a line like this Okay. Similarly here, similarly here, just a little bit. That's all. Okay, and then uh, the stick side, uh, you know, cut it to size uh, beforehand, and then with a small plucker like this, I'll take the sticks like this, and then just put it like this. Okay, so the design which I want, I can obtain. Like as per uh, you know whatever I feel like uh, which way it can be done, and then accordingly you'll find uh, that you know you can create with uh, a combination of the stampings uh, different different uh, shapes, okay, uh, intermingling with each other. Like you see, so uh, so once we stick this in place, you'll find that once uh, it dries, uh, it will. You are very so like this. This is just an example. I can adjust this as per my requirement. Okay, so that we can keep doing. Okay, and then we'll see. Get us uh, a, a, a shape like this. See, uh, there's a dried portion. Okay, and then I applied white acrylic paint here. Okay, so suppose when we are say dipping this thing in um, paint like this, or say with say a paintbrush when we are applying paint on this. Okay, now this surface does not get wet. So there will be no problem because this is normal cardboard which I'm using and this is you know, generally available to all of you very easily. So I had made a shape like this, then see a shape like this along the, you know, at a angle like this. So when we do the combination of this, I kept trying a few things uh, like you know, things like this, which are, you know, a combination of this one and this one okay and say this one at the sides like this okay so um, once we do that then uh, we have a few we can make few more also it's up to you so you will find a very nice beautiful uh, design comes out by various combinations okay so let us uh, i'll now demonstrate as to you know how do we go about uh, uh, you know doing the stamping so uh, i had made a sheet ready and this was my final design uh, rather this is my final design which i made you can make uh, many of them like that i mean that is up to you how you can uh, uh, go about doing uh, so many other things you can get design from you know, various books and so many things like that okay and one more thing i wanted to tell you is about uh, this uh, one more uh, this thing is where i have taken rope okay and then 
has struck a rope like this, okay, with the same method, okay, uh, to create some stampings like this, okay. So once you it's like normal tooth rope, okay, like since I'd already put black and did stampings like this, so that is how we get this, okay. Uh, here, one more thing which is very important is right, like how the design is the same thing you have to do it behind this like this so that is uh, very important so that for you to locate it becomes uh, very easy like this see? okay so like so suppose uh, if for every design like this i have made the same stamping behind this like this see this one is there so same thing is there behind this same thing is there behind this like this okay these are squares like that okay then i mean this is few of them and see everywhere from uh, behind uh, the same stick which I had stuck like this, uh, we have made a uh, same uh, design behind, uh, uh, same design behind that. So that you know, for us to locate it, very uh, becomes very easy. Like say, for example, see, I'll take a brush like this and take say black paint, okay, and then and I take uh, black paint, okay, and then uh, take some water like this, and then apply it uh, on. See, I put some water, okay, and then just dip the brush, okay. The brush should be just moist, not, uh, no, it should not be very much full of water. And so also the paint, it should be a little thicker paint, okay. Like the consistency, it should be so much that, uh, no, and then like this, see, you can just apply it here. See, once we apply this, Okay, and then we can take, see now I know exactly what the shape is, like say, for example, this shape is there, okay, so suppose if I to make the same design here, like this, so I can stamp it like this, see, I'll just keep it like this, I'll align it to, uh, with respect to these uh, squares which I made, okay, and then just put it like this from one end, okay, and then slowly, slowly press it like this, okay, in case if the impression does not come fully, at least uh, you will get the lines in place. So thereafter you can you know, dress it up with a little bit of brush. Okay, like this. See, see. Suppose if I got uh, the impression a little weak here. Yeah, initially, you know, the first two three impressions you will definitely find something like this happening. But later on it comes out very nice. But then see, I can just dress it up a little. Okay, so it gives a very nice, beautiful, uh, you know, outline shape. Okay. Thereafter, um, say now I can, you know, put, uh, take, say, this shape, this one, this. Okay, and just to, uh, uh, I mean, here you have to be very careful in aligning. You know, uh, it does happen that uh, the alignment uh, generally, you know, you have to do a lot of, you know, practice. Uh, I have did only a few of them. Like, see, I can show you. I see so many uh, of uh, you know stampings like this. You can you know practice like this separately like this. You can practice to achieve some results. Okay, a nice results. Okay, so let me apply a little bit of paint like this here here. Okay, and then yes, I'm applying a little bit of paint like this. Okay, and then we can. You know, Again, same way, align it along the square like this. So, then just press it. Okay, if you don't press it properly all along, you'll find that uh, the impression becomes a little weak. But then that shouldn't be much of a problem because you can do little pressing up here and there. See? So uh, like this one which we got, the impression, and then you just press it up a little bit. It can happen that... Uh, you know, the paint has not you know, stuck properly to the, or you must have missed out something. So like this we did, after this, say, I want to put this as a border like this, okay? Or say some border like this, uh, if it is there, uh, sorry, it was out of the camera, see? Like this, which are there, that you can keep putting, okay? So uh, like, suppose uh, if I just apply, again, some paint here, 
I'll take this. Okay. And here, what I want to tell you is that we can do so many things. This is only one of the things uh, which uh, you know I thought can do some very simple designs. Uh, uh, you know, the craft should not be very difficult also for you. Okay, so my idea is that as to uh, you know uh, the craft uh, or say the um, uh, drawing which we do uh, shouldn't be very difficult. Okay, so here I'll do say uh, alignment like this, or I can alignment uh, align it little bit uh, inside. Okay, uh, let's see. It's it's up to you as to you know how do you go about aligning the whole uh, thing. Okay, so once we do this, we can say I can the alignment a little near somewhere here or say here yeah, I'll put in this block like this okay so once I put this uh, alignment in this block okay and then we just left it like this so you get so nice beautiful impression okay. so slowly slowly uh, once uh, yeah, the paint consistency comes up nice uh, you can you know do this things very nice and fine and uh, get some very beautiful uh, impressions okay so we can keep doing this uh, more of them this we can do okay then just left it see so nice it is coming now uh, that's what the initially for the pain to develop and uh, this, uh, you, know, you get into the work, it may take some time. So, like this, I'm applying, okay, and then again, the same thing here, we can just do this, okay? So, once we do this, it's some beautiful ones. It's, uh, so nice. Okay, so again, so this is like a, you know block printing. Like uh, say, uh, there are a lot of um, you know permanent uh, colors which come. So this type of blocks are put uh, on uh, you know clothes or say T-shirts like that. Okay, uh, now we have a lot of 3D printing work also. Available on uh, the printers, like 3D printers are there. Like that, uh, say on mug you can print like that. Okay, uh, but here uh, this is a very age-old tradition, and uh, if you really do it nice, see, so all the impressions are coming so nice now. Okay, so after this, suppose uh, if I want that, uh, you know, I can put some design in place like this. Okay, or say I want to put a design. Is the opposite of it like this? Okay, so that is up to us as to you know how do we put the design. Okay, uh, we can have a design from here like this. Is what I feel. Maybe that will look good. Okay, so just do a little bit of painting. Here. My, my this work took uh, a little time it took at least uh, about two hours to complete and that is why i made it before and because i just wanted to tell um, like you know you can create some very very beautiful looking designs uh, on your own also like this is uh, like a small handkerchief uh, which uh, i thought uh, we should be able to do it Okay, you can apply even uh, acrylic paint on this so that you know, the like there's a lot of fabric paint which comes okay so suppose if you want to some uh, you want to do some really good uh, beautiful design say of your own on a you know a custom made uh, say a handkerchief or something like that uh, that uh, you can always do it and then you can you know it's like a customized thing of your own uh, will really, uh, uh, you know, people will really like it, like that, okay, so uh, just remember, 
always that uh, you have to be uh, very patient you know you should be uh, when you are applying the paint all that uh, it should look you know, really nice okay so like that uh, we can do this then we can uh, just put this thing here also. like this So uh, there's some, you know, very nice design which is developing. Okay, and you can also have some very different ideas of your own. I have did a few things uh, which, uh, you know, uh, it's like um, just to experiment a little bit with block printing. Okay, like this is there. So once we do this block, Beautiful. Like this. So, we will just fill it up like this. Okay, and then one more is left is here. Okay, so let's uh, do this quickly. And then uh, thereafter, we can do a little bit of painting also on that. Like this, yes. So now we uh, can just fill this up like this. Uh, Okay, now once uh, we have finished this uh, of things, thereafter we can use some uh, paint skin, like say um, the inside portion, uh, like I did, you know, crimson, then scarlet, uh, then little black yellow like this. Okay, so you can also think about few things uh, like this. So. Uh, and then fill up the colors uh, in this uh, design as um, you know of your liking because uh, you know you can follow some scheme like say suppose at the center I wanted to paint now a little bit of blue okay so I took cobalt blue like this okay and then here we can just put uh, this paint very carefully okay we should be careful that you know it does not touch uh, the black like if you even if you have to you know leave a line like this uh, there shouldn't be a problem uh, or say say like this like the white portion which i have left uh, it will give you like nice good effect also okay but try not to touch the Boundary. Okay, so once uh, this is there, uh, you can keep uh, painting a few more colors like this and see. And here, uh, what I'm thinking with the sides, I can put a little bit of orange, which is a complementary color of blue. Okay, uh, here. Okay, and just put some color first like this. Okay, for the uh, paint from the brush to. <coughs> Get absorbed by paper. You can see a marking like this. So we can keep doing these uh, things. Uh, only you see here, uh, since uh, I'm just doing this painting much faster. Okay, uh, the 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 borders uh, which we had made, the black ones, the stampings which we have did, they are not dried as such. So it can happen that uh, you know that stampings they touch to your uh, hands fingers and then they will create some marks like this. So you, know, you have to be a bit careful. Okay. So and also it can happen that while painting when you are doing this, 
uh, the uh, if it touches here, the both the paints will start mixing, and then give a little shaggy appearance to the whole thing. So you know, neatness is of utmost importance, and for that purpose, uh, you should not uh, hurry. Okay. So the final drawing, this uh, particular the thing uh, you see in my final drawing in the thumbnail okay and you should also attempt to do this uh, accordingly okay so we can do you know so many you know things like you know these all practice work which i did to see whether you know if you know rings like this like this okay or say i did one more very small piece like this okay similar to this which is this Okay, and I think uh, both of them are looking quite nice. So you also can attempt uh, so many things like this, uh, which uh, you feel uh, uh, like, uh, um, which you think uh, will look really good. Okay, so do uh, attempt this. Uh, it's a good feeling that when the samplings come on paper, you like them very much and then uh, you know, to do painting like what I have shown you, it needs a lot of patience. So it, it will help you to build up your confidence and concentration. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, do attempt this and do share this uh, with all your family and friends. Thank you very much.